Welcome to the video by DJSPRC. Today I want to take the time to show you guys how to fix your tire when you physically have a rip in it or a tear on pretty much any brand of tires that there is out there in RC brand. Uh, these are the Proline Slingshots and if we turn it over here we see a big rip, a big star and if you continue running this tire basically it's going to grenade itself. Uh, the things you will need to fix this tire today is basically CA glue. I have three types here. I have super thin, medium, and extra thick. And we have instant accelerator to cure that glue. Now, one of the first steps we're going to do is basically you want to squish this down to try to keep it as flat as possible. And sometimes it is a little bit tricky, especially with a star. And you can use the uh, toothpicks too. Now I'm going to grab my gap filling here. And basically what I'm going to do is start filling one of the holes. Try to fill the most that I can that's flat. And I don't want to touch with my fingers. That's one of the reasons you're really going to use Q-tips, put Q-tips, toothpicks. And we're just going to try to keep that hole filled. And we're going to shoot it with accelerator. Now, this way, this section here will hold by itself. Now, I'm going to bring the other one down too, and we're just going to repeat what we just did. Now, on certain tires, you're going to do this. It's This section is going to be a little bit harder than compare the, uh, the rest of the tire itself. But for paddles like these guys here, it's not too major. There is some flexible CA that does exist out there. That will stay flexible. I'm just trying to shoot not too much on it. And if you can see here, flexible and not too flexible. But if you can get a little bit more out of your tire, it's always better. And there's a small gap here too. I'm going to try to fill the gaps. I'm going to try to prevent it from ripping more. And basically, there you go. What I'm going to do right now is leave it, leave it to dry by itself. Because basically right now, the top surface is dry chemically with the accelerator. But what we want to is let it physically dry by itself, cure itself. Now it does say on the bottle physically uh, 5 to 10 seconds to dry. But uh, what I do suggest is leave it at least for 24 hours to dry completely. Try it. I don't know if it's gonna focus. But there's your repair done, guys. 
Now, if you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button if you do like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, guys.